downtown hotel. We're digging into everything we know this morning. And Memorial Day is coming up Monday, but there are some in our area already honoring those who've made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Those stories are coming up straight ahead, but we do want to start your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a look at your forecast. Yes, so good morning to you, Tim. Good morning to you, Tatiana and Ryan's here with us this morning as well. That's good right. Morning. Watching that sun come up. It's a beautiful <laughs> start to the day here. Tell you what, can't ask for much better weather in the middle of May like we've had the last couple of days. The heat's backed off just a touch. Today we'll be back in the mid 80s. Look at this sunrise here on our variety of cameras. Thanks to our friends out at Shorn Islands for providing this view. What a way to start off a Friday, right? Radar and satellite for us show clear skies overhead. Temperatures have that little crisp feeling in the air, ranging from the mid 50s to the low 60s right now. It's 58 in Port Clinton, 54 in Toledo, 62 in Finley, and 55 in Defiance. And we talk our bus stop forecast for the kids that are still in session here. Sunny skies. We warm up to the mid 80s. It'll be just a touch warmer today than what we felt yesterday. We got the Memorial Day weekend just around the corner. I've got a full breakdown of that Saturday, Sunday, Monday outlook coming up. We're now at 601. Let's get it right over to Stephen with a first look at today's traffic tracker. Here's a look at our big four major highway. So this morning getting you up and out the door. Road conditions are moving just fine this morning. 475 here. No issues right at Salisbury Road. I 280 right at Lemoyne Road. Not seeing those restrictions in place there as you approach Woodville Road, Navarre Avenue. That's where you'll see those restrictions. US 23 and I 75 both looking good as well. That's a look at your Contrada Law Firm traffic tracker. This morning, Toledo police are investigating after a person was shot overnight in West Toledo. It happened on Fleet Road just west of Reynolds after midnight. Police say the man shot well, has non life threatening injuries. Now, no arrests have been made. If you have any information on this incident, call Crime Stoppers. The number there at the bottom of your screen 419 255 1111. Also breaking overnight, a traffic stop turned police chase, which ended in downtown Toledo. The driver stopped right at the front entrance of the Hilton Garden Inn on North Summit Street. Police say the woman was driving with her high beams on, and so they tried to pull her over near Door and Detroit, but instead she took off. She's since been taken into custody. Well, this morning we have an update after the father and daughter of the Navarro family died in a home explosion. This tragedy devastated Fulton County, and we are told Delta and Lions community members are coming together to help the mother and son who survived. Maya May joins us here in the studio this morning. So, Maya, what are they doing to help this family? Yes, friends of the family tell me they have organized a chicken dinner benefit, and they tell me they are coming together in tough times for in a small town, close knit community, and that's just what they do. Navarro to help the Navarro family as long as they need. This explosion took away more than just furniture and toys. The tragedy that struck on May 16th last week took the lives of a father and daughter. But Fulton County residents tell me the survivors are not alone and they, the entire community will host events to help aid in picking up the pieces. The first of these fundraisers kicks off tomorrow. The Kovar Q Catering Company and friends of the Navarro family are selling dinners tomorrow for $15 from 3 p.m. until they sell out. The chicken dinner comes with mashed potatoes, green beans, and a dessert. Um, I, I also am aware there's other benefits being planned for the future for them too. So it, this isn't just it. Like we're, we're going to continue to help this family out in every way we can. We have people donating clothes, um, mattresses, anyway, anything that this family is needing, people are stepping up and we're going to try and make this as easy of a transition and because it's not it's not going to be easy at, at any means. This Saturday, the dinner is open to everyone, but pre-sale tickets are also available and starting at 230 tomorrow, there will be an auction and raffle drawing to go along with the dinner. I'm Maya May for WTOL 11. The students recovering this morning after getting hit by a car at a Perrysburg Elementary School. The principal of Toth Elementary says the student was hurt during car drop off yesterday morning and staff members called 911 right away and helped the student before first responders arrived. The student, we're told, is expected to be okay. 
A potential hazmat situation had Nebraska Avenue closed for hours yesterday. The city of Toledo says there was no active threat to public health and safety, but concerns arose during an assessment to the Omni Polymers facility in central Toledo. A press release from the city says there were concerns about how chemicals were being stored. Inspectors also found a non operational fire suppression system. Authorities are now working to determine the next steps to keep the community healthy and safe. Lucas County offices and one government center will be back open this morning after they were closed on Wednesday because of a bed bug. Emails sent across county offices indicate the bug was found in the auditor's office sometime before 1130 AM. Here's what Lucas County Auditor Katie Moline had to say about it. An employee noted that they saw a bug crawling and we identified it as a bed bug. And so once I was notified that it existed, I wanted the whole staff to you know, I leave the building just so that they weren't exposed, but then also so we could fumigate as soon as possible so we could get back to work as soon as possible. Along with the Lucas County Auditor's Office, the Record Recorder's Office, as well as the Treasurer's Office were also closed due to the incident. Memorial Day weekend is here and you might be excited for a three day weekend. Now, while it's a celebration for many, it's also a day of reflection for many others. And coming up at 630, our Mario Dunham explains the true meaning behind Memorial Day. A Toledo Public School honors service members who gave their lives for our country. Waite High School had its 109th Memorial Day program yesterday. It's the longest running program in the city dating back to World War I. The program started in the auditorium, honoring people by name, specifically those who went to wait. And then there was a procession outside at the Memorial Garden with a 21 gun salute. Veterans are special people that gave their life for our freedom. And this just represents the people that have died and given their life for us. Service members weren't the only ones honored. Beloved history teacher Joe Boyle, who passed away recently from cancer, was also honored. Toledo Memorial Park is looking for your help in honoring fallen heroes for this Memorial Day weekend. The cemetery needs volunteers to help place thousands of American flags on grave sites to honor those lost. If you are willing and able to, head on over to Toledo Memorial Park. It's going to be at 830 this morning. And we're counting down the three things you need to know before you head out the door on this Friday morning. Number three, the Ohio Turnpike is promoting safe driving ahead of the holiday weekend with a customer appreciation event. It's going to happen today from 10 until 2 at the Commodore Perry Service Plaza in Clyde. There's going to be dollar hot dogs, Kona ice cream cones, and many more free food samples up for grabs. Number two, the Wood County Public Library is celebrating its new bookmobile today with a launch party. So families can take tours of the new bookmobile library as well as even build their own mini bus with paper. Oh, cute. The party is going to start at 1030 this morning at the Bowling Green Library parking lot. And number one, the Glass City is cleaning up with a block by block event in the Old West End this weekend. So City's Division of Urban Beautification wants to fight blight and bring out the beauty in our neighborhood. So the cleanup is going to start tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Goes all the way until this afternoon at 1. With the unofficial start of summer this weekend, the Sylvania YMCA and JCC is opening up their pool. Should be pretty busy, right? And there are some new features like a climbing wall, a diving board, and a zip line. Pool access is included with Y membership to any of the 10 area YMCA or JCC branches. There's a lot of great things happening in Northwest Ohio, and we don't want cost to be a barrier for any of our youth to enjoy those things. Making sure transportation costs aren't a barrier for our youth in Toledo. The Transit Service is partnering with the Toledo Lucas County Public Library to offer youth summer blast passes at each library branch. These passes allow youth ages 6 to 19 to ride a TARDA service for free all summer long. Something new starting in Port Clinton today is the Liberty Aviation Museum. It's offering flights on the 1928 Ford tri passenger aircraft called City of Port Clinton. This inaugural flight is going to take you on a tour of Lake Erie Island region with views of attractions like Marblehead Lighthouse and Cedar Point. We'll take off from the Erie Ottawa International Airport set for 10 o'clock this morning. 
And there's also a first happening at the Northwest Ohio Classical Academy in South Toledo. The first set of graduates were going to walk across the stage to get their diplomas today. It's going to be 18 seniors who started out the school as eighth graders when the school first opened as a K through eight. Graduation ceremony is set to start at 7 p.m. All right, Memorial Day weekend is here, and for a Friday morning, Ryan, we are off to a great start. <laughs> we know people have a lot of outdoor plans. Uh -huh. How are things looking? I think we're looking really good for today, Tim. Gets a little more interesting into the weekend forecast. We will have the chance for a couple of scattered showers, as you'll see in the forecast. But as far as today goes, warm and sunny. What a way to be for a Friday here. It's going to be dry today. There will be some overnight showers that return tonight. But I think your plans for today and even this evening for dinner plans, that sort of thing should be all right as well. Radar and satellite, what are we watching? Well, off to our west, there's a pretty powerful line of thunderstorms moving through areas that don't need any more thunderstorms. After the outbreak of severe weather earlier this week, you can see the severe thunderstorm warnings, even some tornado warnings in place across central Iowa right now. This line of thunderstorms is going to continue to march east. It will significantly decrease in intensity but we'll provide our next chance for showers overnight tonight. So let's look at it here right here. My hour by hour forecast as I put the clock into motion here. We're dry today. Looks just fine with bright sunny skies all day long. That chance for rain, like I was saying, it arrives around midnight, comes racing through and there could be a lingering shower tomorrow morning. But for the most part here, we're looking at a mainly dry Saturday. Pretty warm with those highs once again back up into the lower 80s for tomorrow. So not a bad way to start off the holiday weekend here Sunday. There will be a more widespread chance for showers. You look at Memorial Day itself. There's a chance for some rain as well. So we'll talk a lot more on that. We got plenty to get to coming up, including a little bit of a cool down in our 10 day forecast for you still to come in my full 10 day. I'll be back in 90 seconds.